But we're supposed to be one unit in the Lord together with the man at the head of that. That's the way the Lord set it up to be. But everything's, you know, backwards now. All right. And there's going to be a payment for that as this society falls. It gets closer and closer to complete and utter, you know, chaos. This is Isaiah 32. And uh, I'm going to read 9 through 14. And it reads, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail and the gathering shall not come. So eventually these deliveries will stop going to go to these stop going to these stores. There's gonna be no goods and services, no food to buy. None of that. All right. And there's gonna be no protection services. All right, no 911. So you ain't gonna be able to roll your neck, roll your eyes, smack and talk to a man any old way. And um, and then think it think that it's over. Those days are coming to an end, and I'm gonna provide you proof of it. All right, and it says, um, "Tremble, ye women that are at ease; be not troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird up sackcloth upon your lo your your loins." So, a lot of you out of going to are are going to be stripped and made bare, often against your will. And, uh, and for you women, you carousel riders, you women who who hop from penis to penis on that on that on the sea carousel all right from man to man i keep warning you that the day is going to come where the carousel is going to ride you you're not going to pick and choose and get to get to swipe right and swipe left and all that on your own accord all right whatever the fuck that means i'm never i'm i don't do that social media crap you know if the lord gonna bring a woman to a, my life he's gonna bring her right across my path she's gonna find me somehow all right but, um, and at this point, with the understanding that I have, it makes me not even want a woman. You know, I got a couple of uh, women in mind that I want, that I've claimed in the name of Yahweh Basha and I was shy. And some of them know who they are because I've let them know. He that you call child support, alimony, all that, all those things are going to go away. All right. You're not going to get rewarded for wickedness anymore. It says, upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars. Yeah. Upon the houses of joy in the joyous city. So there's going to be no gardens and no food. All right. It's going to be briars, you know, and thorns. Those hurt. You ever you ever grab the rose thorn, a, a rose by the petal? I mean, by the, uh, uh, the, the vine, they hurt. All right. Because the places shall be forsaken. The multitude of the city shall be left. The forts and the towers shall be for dens forever. The a joy of wild asses and a pastoral flock so all these luxury buildings and places they're going to be in ruin all right because this society literally is collapsing right before your face it's falling all right let me uh here we go and this is a video that uh the beloved Elder Uriah sent me, but here we go. My ex-boyfriend is trying to break into my house. I'm not letting him in, but he's like, tried to break down the door and he's trying to break into one of the windows. He put me in the hospital a few weeks ago and I've been trying to keep him away. I told him I was going to call. He's now trying to break into his window. He's trying to get me it open. Okay, um, are you, do you have anybody else in the house with you? No, I don't. Okay, does he live there? No, he does not. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have anybody to send out there. Damn. Okay. Uh, you know, obviously, if he comes inside the residence and... And she's trying to stay calm. You're going to hear her panic toward the end of the call. She's trying to stay, stay calm right now because the whole time she's doing this, she's trying to do it quietly because he's trying to get in as she's talking to him. All right? assault you can you ask him to go away or do you know if he's intoxicated or anything I, i've already asked him i've already told him i was calling you he's spoken before but he's on the door insulted me uh-huh um yeah so now you have to think what made this go that way because this man was good enough to to come in and out of your house you to go in and out of his house you to spend the night him to spend the night him to put his his uh uh his semen all in you in all types of ways all right. For you to do all that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're not under his vibration anymore. So we don't know the full story. 
But all I know is that, you know, more than likely, if she did just stay, you stay with him and been, been under his vibration, you know, none of this probably would have happened. All right. And if he's an asshole, you chose an asshole in the beginning on your own accord because you didn't choose a godly man. You didn't choose a man of the Lord because the true man of the Lord is not going to be beating you up and smacking you around and treating you that way. You know, he may yell and scream at you, you know, but he's not going to go outside of the law and the scriptures and his dealing with you. All right. Is there any way you can safely leave the residence? No, I can't. He's, he's blocking pretty much my only way out. With a vehicle or? Um, with a vehicle, I'm with him on my front door. So. Damn, he's blocked her ways out. Can help you or do you have any friends? Um, he has sat there and destroyed my phone that had all of my contacts in it because uh -huh. I have neighbors because he's done this. He's done this. I can't get a hold of my neighbors. I don't know what this one of those are. I just had to get a new phone. And you hear that? She can't. He destroyed her phone. All right. And she don't know the phone numbers of her neighbors because see, no one knows numbers anymore. But I bet you they know all the passcodes to their to their to their to their Twitter, to their to their TikTok, to their Facebook, to their Instagram, to all their booty shaking and, and, and cleavage showing outlets. They know all those numbers, but you don't even know your neighbor's numbers anymore. All right. You see this society, boy. Well, here we go. The only thing I can do is give you some advice and call the sheriff's office tomorrow. Um, obviously, if he comes in and unfortunately... Oh, the sheriff tomorrow. He's trying to come in right now. ...or is trying to cause you physical harm, that's a different story. I, You know, the sheriff's office doesn't work up there. I don't have anybody to send. And we don't dispatch for him. Um, like I said, it's an unfortunate situation. Okay. But I'll have to take care of myself, I guess. Well, you have every right to do that. I can't tell you what to do, but um, is he still there? Yes, he is. She's trying to you see. She's starting to lose it now. All right. Well, um, do you want to do you want to stay on the phone with me until we figure out what he might do, or can he ask him to leave? I asked him to leave. The million, million. Okay, but he does not live there with you. Is that what you're saying? He does not. Okay. Has he lived there previously? No. Okay. Where is he now? I mean, he's not in my bedroom window. Does he know that you're on the phone? I don't know. I, if I could hear him screaming in the yard, I think he could get yeah. on the phone. I told him I was going to. Okay. He says he doesn't care. What's he, doesn't have any, he doesn't care because he knows that no one's out here. And so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like I said, it's definitely unfortunate. That's the case in a lot of America and a lot of areas. Of course. <laughs> oh no, there's no one with it. So when did you guys break up? Um, we have broken up for a billion times. You see what I mean? He um put me in the hospital a few weeks ago and I've been trying to keep him away. Do you have a So clearly he said she she said they've broken up five billion times. So they had a very toxic up and down relationship. And finally, he put her in the hospital two weeks ago. All right. So she chose this. She chose this man. All right. And this is one of those things which you got to understand that what's that saying that, that, that your, your mom and your grandma used to say? You made your bed. Now you got to sleep in it. Hey, so with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bukakwadash, Bukakwadash, repent. Repent, for the end is nigh. Shalom.